Hello guys! The new 1.18 update was released a few weeks ago, so today we take a look at some mods that are already compatible with this version and the link to each mod is in the description. Starting with Simply Steel, which adds steel as an early game durability fix. No more crafting 4 iron pickaxes when searching for your first diamonds. To craft steel, you have to combine an iron ingot with coal to crude iron, which you can put in a furnace to make it to a steel ingot. Compared to iron, durability is improved and tools are slightly more efficient. It also adds new variations of iron blocks, which is also quite useful. This mod replaces the usually flat second layer of player skins with a 3D modeled version. It'll automatically switch to the vanilla 2D rendering when players are further away than 12 blocks to increase the frame rate. Since this mod is purely visual and fully client side, it doesn't have to be installed on servers and works everywhere. This mod adds a trash slot to your inventory, allowing you to quickly and safely get rid of unwanted items. In case of mistakes, the trash slot keeps the last deleted item stored to allow you to take your item back out. Definitely a life changer in my opinion. Emotecraft will allow you to do emotes in Minecraft. By pressing B, you can open the emote wheel, which makes it possible to choose from different emotes. The mod allows you to import your own custom emotes by placing them in the new game folder. Repurpose Structures is a mod about taking existing vanilla features and structures and creating new variants or modifications to them. Overall, 96 new structures are currently added, like new temples, new types of shipwrecks, and new mansion types. A great mod that makes you want to explore the Minecraft world even more. A simple mod that can allow you to go up and down ladders much faster. Look straight down to go down the ladder faster. Look straight up to go up the ladder faster. The degree to which you look up or down will affect how fast or slow you move. The Quark mod has this feature too, but the faster ladder climbing mod will allow you to adjust the speed based on how far you look up or down and it doesn't need to be installed server side. Recall adds a single item, the Recall Amulet, that lets you teleport back to your respawn point, for example, your bed, in whatever dimension you are. Alex's Mobs is a mod that adds 64 new mobs to Minecraft. Most of them are real world creatures like grizzly bears, roadrunners, orcas. but some of them are purely fictional, like the Endergade. The models, textures, animations, and AI are all meant to seamlessly integrate with the vanilla game without stylistic clashes, and many of these mobs have unique drops or items associated with them. With the modern era of innovations comes a new door type, the Tall Door. These three block high doors come in every vanilla variety. Oak, spruce, birch, acacia, dark oak, jungle, iron, crimson, and warped. Craft one by putting three of the vanilla variants vertically in a crafting table. Now you can finally ride your horse through. Annoyed by trees that don't respect the fundamental laws of physics? Put those trees in their place with Trees Do Not Float. 
When this mod is installed and the last log supporting a tree is broken, the whole tree comes down. Ever felt bored of the Minecraft villagers? Do you wish they sold more useful items? More Villagers aims to fix that by adding multiple new villager jobs, all with unique trades, workstations, and advancements. For example, the Forester, which you can get by Workstation Forestry Table. Now you can trade saplings to emeralds, which wasn't possible before. Lot Tweaks adds some tweaks for builders to increase productivity in creative mode. The range of breaking, placing, and picking blocks is extended up to 100 blocks. You can also create block groups and rotate them. The Gobber mod is designed to make playing Minecraft more fulfilling by providing enhanced armor, tools, and weapons. Additionally, the mod provides special items, rings, staffs, and medallions that provide a variety of quality of life enhancements and convenience perks. The tools can be crafted by the three new ores, Gobber Ore, Nether Gobber Ore, and End Gobber Ore. Some may consider these items overpowered, but that's a matter of choice in my opinion. To showcase everything, the mod simply offers too much and is too extensive. The link for the mod is in the description. This mod adds additional bars to the game that go along with iron bars, a new decoration block with which you can enhance your world and add variety to it. More than a pickaxe enhances the survival experience of Minecraft by adding a tool that does everything except shearing. No more having to change tools in order to mine different materials. This tool, called an Adza, is a pickaxe, axe, sword, hoe, and shovel, which comes in nine types. This mod basically does what it stands for. It adds new types of blocks, slabs, stairs, and walls to the game. Everything can be crafted in survival and offers new cool ways of decoration. This simple mod adds a variety of bridges which allows you to improve and make your world a better place. Everything is fully craftable in survival, and I'll leave a link to the recipes down in the description. Do you often get lost in caves? With chalk, you can mark your way through the vast world of Minecraft. To craft some chalk, you'll need a piece of clay and dye. Any color will work. You can also use glowstone dust to make it glow and it'll slightly light up the surrounding area. With this mod, you can finally craft the Totem of Undying. The crafting recipe is definitely fair in my opinion, because the Totem of Undying is a powerful object. These were all the mods for today's episode. I'll be back soon with more mods. Until then, you can click these videos right here. See ya!